Hello Tree Church kids, it's time for another exciting lesson. This week we're talking about accepting others. So get your family around the TV, get ready for some great lessons, some great stories. We've got a great game for you today and then stay around at the end for prayer time. Here we go. Today we are talking about accepting others. That means you are kind and nice to people who are different than you. God created all of us. Now not everyone chooses to follow Jesus, but we still want to remember that they are one of God's kids just like us. It's hard to be nice to someone who doesn't look or act like we do. It's really hard when they don't agree with us or we think they do weird stuff. God made each of us different on purpose. When we all work together and do things the way God made us to, the world is a better place. Jesus accepts everyone. When he was on earth, he showed kindness to everyone because he loves all his kids. In today's story, Jesus showed us that everyone matters, no matter where they're from. Jesus had been teaching people about God all day. He was tired and went to Jacob's well to sit down and rest. In Jesus' time, no one had sinks or faucets in their houses. They had to go to a well to get their water. You can't live without water. Don't even try it. While Jesus was resting, a woman from Samaria came to get water for her family. Jesus spoke to her and asked if she would get him a drink. The woman was shocked. Not because this guy was thirsty. You see, she knew Jesus was a Jew by the way he was dressed. Jews and Samaritans didn't like each other. They would never be seen talking to each other in public. She said, why would you, a Jew, ask me, a Samaritan woman, for a drink? Jesus said, if you knew who I was, you would be asking me for water. Anyone who drinks this well water will be thirsty again. But the living water I offer will make it so you're never thirsty again. The woman said, tell me where the water is so I don't have to keep coming to this well every day. She didn't understand that Jesus was not talking about real water. He was talking about saving her from her sins by following him and getting to live forever in heaven with him after her earthly body dies. Then Jesus started telling her things that not just anyone would know. He knew where she lived and who she lived with and even how she was related to each one of them. She was amazed. She realized that he must be the Messiah the Son of God that she had read and studied about. He told her to return to her town, stop sinning, and start following him. She was so excited. She ran back to tell everyone about this man and how he knew everything about her. People were excited and wanted to go to the well and meet Jesus. Jesus accepted the Sumerian woman just as she was. This made her want to follow him and accept him as her savior. So what about you? Are you kind to people who look or act different than you? Do you make fun of people you think act weird or aren't popular? God wants us to learn to accept everyone. That doesn't mean that if someone is doing something that is sinful, you should do that too. It means that you are nice and kind to them. Treating them like you want to be treated may help them want to follow Jesus. That's what God wants for all of us. Here are three take-home tips to help you accept others. Take one, look for the best in others. Take two, don't compare yourself to others. Take three, pray for God's help to accept others. Remember, treat others the way you want to be treated. See you next week. What a great video and what a great story. Jesus didn't care what this woman looked like. Jesus didn't care where she was from or who her friends were or the color of her skin or the accent of her voice. All he cared about was that she was his child and he wanted to make sure that he, she knew who he was so that she could have eternal life with him in heaven. So guys, it isn't always easy to accept others, 
I am learning this too. We grow and we learn as we see people that are different than us. We see people that act different or think different than us. And it can be hard because it's not what we're used to. But what I want you to realize is God wants us to accept everyone. And so when you start to feel that struggle and you don't know why, go right to God. Ask God to help you. And I'm gonna give you three really good take home, take out in the world, take wherever you want them points today to help you uh, work on accepting others better. Here we go. Repeat after me. Take one. Good. Say it real strong. Parents, we do this because I want you to remember these takes. Take one. Good. Look for the best in others. Look for the best in others. So when you meet somebody, think the best of them. When you are talking about to someone, maybe you're getting in an argument with your sister at home now, we're all in close quarters. And when you're talking to her, think the best. When she says something, think the best of her. Think of how you know who she is and remember first that she's a child of God. And then think the best of her. Think that she cares about you and that she loves you. She might feel different than you about what you're arguing about. She might even say some hateful words towards you, but she still has good in her just like you do. And so when you think that way and you look for the best in others, it's gonna help you accept them. All right, let's do take two. Here we go. Take two. Good. Don't compare yourself to others. Now let's say it all together. Don't compare yourself to others. Don't compare yourself. This is so easy for you, and, and you kids might not even understand what that means, but this is when you go, you look at your best friend and he has all this stuff and he has things that you, that you don't have the money for. Or he has, uh, he's in maybe clubs and things that maybe you didn't get into and you, you're, I wish I was like him and why can't I be more like that person? And, and when you start to compare yourself to others, it separates you from loving them because you, get jealous and you have all these things that are just natural in us. So when you work not to compare yourself to other people, it's going to help you. So when you start to do that, when you start to go, I wish I had that, or I wish I was looked more like them, or I wish I had those cool shoes. Don't go there. Stop yourself and say, okay, God, I know I'm starting to compare. So help me just see them in the way that you see them and help me realize that you gave me exactly what I need and that you created me exactly to do and to be and to have all the things that I have for my life. So I don't need to compare because you made me perfectly and you have a perfect plan for my life. All right, let's do take three. Here we go. Take three. Good. Pray for God's help to accept others. Good. Pray for God's help. This is a point of so many of our lessons because this is the most powerful gift we have from God is that we can talk to him, that we have the Holy Spirit interacting with us. And so when you pray, when you're in these situations and you, you're, you're starting to be mean to somebody or you, somebody looks different and you hear your friends making fun of them, somebody is weird and you hear your friends saying that and you start to do it too. And you realize I am, this is not being accepting. This is not loving someone. And you go right to God in that moment. Like we say all the time, God, I need you. I need you right now because I have this feeling in my heart that I don't like that. I know you wouldn't like. And so help me change. And remember what we talked about? He starts to calm us down as we talk to him. And then we start to think a little more clearly. And we start to think his way, treat others the way you want to be treated. And then it helps us. So pray for God's help when you are struggling with accepting others. Guys, I hope you use all these tips. Let's go over them one more time real quick. Take one, look for the best in others. Take two, don't compare yourself to others. And take three, pray for God's help to accept others. I hope you have a great week. I'm praying for you guys and we'll see you soon. All right, guys, it's memory verse time. Pastor Phil here and Miss Tiff and Miss Amelia. I wait until it gets really quiet before I, before I look. Hi guys, how are you? Hi. All right, you ready? Yep, yes. All right guys, we just learned Ephesians 4, 2 last week, so we're gonna go over it again. What a great verse. Not telling us not to be proud, telling us to be gentle with people, to be patient with people. And then that last part, putting up with one another in love. And that just means when somebody does something to annoy you, or when somebody does something that you don't like, or says something maybe that you don't agree with, you, you just put up with it. It's just saying, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna almost ignore that and just uh, go on because I love this person and God wants me to show them how to live in love. Not always easy to do. 
but it is possible with God's help. All right, you ready to go over it? Here we go. Yep. Don't. Don't. Oh, uh, don't. <laughs> Don't See, I already forgot it. All right, here we go. Let's start over. Don't, Don't be, be proud at all. Be completely gentle. Be patient. Put, Put up with one another in love. Ephesians 4, 2. All right, show that big fish you caught. All right, let's, uh, let's just do it again. Let's do it a couple times to get warmed up. All right, here we go. Everybody should be doing it with is you two parents. Here we go. Don't be proud at all. Be completely gentle. Be patient. Put up with one another in love. Ephesians 4, 2. All right, let's whisper it. Don't be proud at all. Be completely gentle. Be patient. Put up with one another in love. Ephesians 4, 2. Good job. All right, let's do Little Mouse. Can do Mousey voice. But we have to become a little tiny mouse. We're gonna shrink up. Ready? Oh, here we go. Shrinking, oh. shrinking. Oh, it's shrinking. Oh. All right. All right, little, little mousies, you okay? All right, here we go. You ready, little mousey? Uh -huh. Mousey, ready? Yeah. All right, little All right, here we go. Don't be proud at all. Be a really gentle. Be patient. Be love with one another. All right, you ready to do Big Bear? Let me hear your Big Bear voice. Oh! <laughs> Let me hear your Big Bear. Yeah. All right, here we go. Big Bear, you ready? Here we go. Don't be proud at all. Be completely gentle. Be patient. Put up with one another in love. Ephesians in the Big Bear. All right, guys, it's game time. You're gonna need a ball or something like a ball. You can wad up a piece of paper if you don't have a ball around your house, something that'll fit under everybody's chin. This is just called ball under your chin. So you're gonna put the ball under your chin. You're gonna mark two, two spaces, the starting point, and then point B. The person is gonna put the ball under their chin, move to point B, come back to point A, and drop the ball either in a bowl or back onto the table or on a pillow. And then that will be the time that it took them. So whoever can do it in the fastest time. So somebody get their iPhone out and, and use the timer and see how long it takes each person. And we'll see who is the best at ball under the chin. Guys, have a blast and we'll see you soon. But don't forget, you've got to say it to play it. So remember, every person needs to say the memory verse. You can say it as a group. Anytime you play a game from our lessons, the, the spiritual part of that is, I want you to say the memory verse and get it in your mind and your heart one more time. Guys, we love you. Have a blast. We'll see you soon. Guys, I'm so glad you joined us today. What a great lesson. I hope that you keep working on accepting others just the way that Jesus did. I love you. I can't wait to see you soon. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you created each of us. You made us all different. You made us all to look different, to act different, to be different. And God, you love and accept everyone. And so help us to have that same heart. God, I just pray for these kids and these families as they venture into new things with this whole quarantine and everything that's going on in our lives and as they meet new people and as they hear things from people that are different than them, that they remember the way that you would treat them. And then help us to all do that, to love each other for who we are, your children. God, we love you, we trust you, and we pray this in your amazing and mighty name. Amen. Guys, have a great week and we'll see you soon. Hugs and blessings.